the charged crystals that represent the idea of contact. These being the permission slip that have been entitled Ethathani Contact Crystals or Seeds of Contact. The idea being that on my world, this crystal represents the center point of a larger crystal array that is created to represent all of the consciousnesses and all of the worlds in the interstellar alliance of which we are a part and of which you are becoming a part. Bashar has been um, in some sessions explaining more about his own life, his own experiences on his planet. When he was very young, he was shown a large piece of artwork that uh, contains many different kinds of crystals, and each crystal represents one of the civilizations that's part of their association of worlds. Now, the central crystal he described is a hexagon that is dark green in color. It's larger than this, but this is basically a replica of that crystal as he described it to us. There is a symbol inscribed on the crystal which is a triangular symbol that has a spiral in the middle of it. Uh, this symbol Bashar described is actually his family crest. It represents his family's lineage as contact specialists. So Bashar suggested that if we made replicas, uh, even if they're smaller, of this central crystal. What he did then is he um, did a special meditation that actually comes with every crystal on a DVD that's for the purpose of charging the crystal with the specific frequency of contact. So when you have one of these and you use the meditation, it is actually charged with the particular frequency that represents his civilization and the particular frequency that represents their initial contact with us. Bashar has basically said that, you know, charging one of these with your own energy and the energy that's in the meditation that he gave is kind of like casting your vote specifically for contact. So if you're interested in acquiring one of these, by all means, please ask the people at the back table to give you the information. It comes in this lovely box along, like I said, with the DVD. And uh, so please check out the information at the back table. Okay, and why is the contact crystal a hexagon? It supports the idea, very specifically, that what is attached to it, around it, as the central hexagonal crystal, are six others, which represent the six hybrid races and altogether the seventh. Earth being the sixth hybrid race. We are the third. But altogether, the six and the one in the center will be representative of the seventh hybrid race, when all six hybrid races exist and blend together into the seven. That's the core, the core of our common evolution and what we share as family and where we're going into what you call the future, together. I just picked up one of your interesting little uh, seed crystals for contact. Yes. I was curious if you could talk about that for a few moments. Again, the idea is that as a child in my world, I was shown the idea of a central hexagonal crystal that existed within a giant, large artistic exhibit created by another contact specialist. The central crystal in that particular work is about, in terms of your size, about three feet across. Mm. 
The idea is that it is about the same color green, and around it are other crystals. Each crystal added to the central crystal, which represents the first contact of our civilization with another, represents all the other contacts of all the other civilizations we have come into contact with, cool. and constantly grows as more <laughs> and more civilizations join the interstellar alliance, as you call it. But the idea is that that central crystal is the seed crystal that carries the vibration of contact itself and mm. is representative of uh, my family lineage along with other family lineages that are also steeped into the idea of being contact specialists. Nice. So not only does the idea specifically of that crystal carry the vibration, generally speaking, that is conducive to contact with other civilizations, that particular vibration is also very specifically connected to our world and my family. Mm. Very nice. So, that is our way of welcoming you all to the family. As far as permission slips go, obviously, as was explained, this is specifically tapping into the idea, the archetypal collective consciousness idea that there is a particular frequency or vibration that represents the blending or connection between your civilization and other civilizations. That is one of the frequencies that is put into the charge in a sense that is represented by that particular idea, object, permission slip. Now, it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to always use that idea, that object, because again, permission slips are what works for you. At the same time, and in conjunction with what we were saying earlier in this transmission as to how there is really no separation between intention and action, between the physicalization, the physical act being that that demonstrates and in a sense actually creates simultaneously the intention. The physical act of having a symbol of that nature, a permission slip of that nature, is similar to the idea of physically casting your vote for contact. So the more votes are cast in whatever way that occurs, in whatever form the permission slip feels right for you, the more we can tally those votes because not just of the intention of wanting contact, but the actual physical act of physicalizing it in some sort of physical way, a physical symbol that is representative of a physical action you have taken that is actually the casting of a vote. And that vote resonates very strongly in your collective consciousness to us. So it really truly changes the vibration of your collective reality. And one last question. Why is the contact quartz crystal green? It is specific to the vibration of the heart chakra because contact is from heart to heart. Ah, okay. Though the minds may be different, though the body forms may be different, it is through the heart that we recognize our spirits are one. This is what is actually said before the crystals on our planet. Though minds may be different, though body forms may be different, it is through the heart that we recognize our spirits are one. This, in a sense, you might say, is a saying that is germane to first contact specialists on my planet. 